Hey everyone, this is MCA 570 Sports Medicine and Performance week number nine. Um, this week we're talking about the thigh and the hip injuries. Um, so the big injury that we see that's common in the thigh is a contusion. So a really bad bruise. Um, soccer ball to the leg, lacrosse ball to the leg, uh, football helmet to the, to the quad. Um, when that contusion happens, that one can be like an instant dead leg. Um, you can also get it right on the ASIS, the point of the hip. That is also a common location for a hip pointer, which is a contusion as well. And those two can tend to just turn turn the muscles off completely. Um, they'll have a dead leg. They'll have a hard time walking. Um, with time, that pain will decrease. Um, our first instinct is to put ice on it, which is perfectly fine. But when you do that, you want to put them with ice in the bent knee position. So if they get hit in the middle of the quad, put the ice bag on, have them bend their knee. So either they're laying down and they bend their knee or you have them sitting and they bend their knee towards their chest and then ace bandage or wrap their knee so or their leg so the ice stays on while the leg is bent. This is because that elongates the quad muscle while it's being iced. So when they stand up and go to walk, the muscle's long. If not, then you ice it short, which makes it cold short. It, um, it is the contusion then is stuck short as well, which is where the bleeding is happening. And so now when they go to stand up to walk, they can't elongate that muscle to be able to walk because of the contusion and the ice. So you really want to elongate it. The other piece of that is as that muscle is healing, um, the quad can tend to calcify. Um, and when it calcifies in there, that bony piece will change the dynamic of the muscle fibers and how they align. And now they have to go around this bony piece in the middle, this calcified piece of tissue in the middle of the quad, which can create pain. Um, it can create muscle weakness, deformity, all that stuff. Um, and sometimes if that calcified piece is too big, depending on the, the injury, the initial injury, um, that could actually need to be surgically removed in order to gain the function back, the full function of that quad back. So ways to prevent that, not over treating, not returning back too soon and keeping that knee bent when we put it in the ice position to allow those fibers to stay elongated and not start to heal in a compact position. They don't have to stay bent all the time. Um, but it's mostly just when they're icing. So this week we have a discussion. We have a quiz. Again, no assignments are due this week, but your research paper is due uh, week 11. Uh, so please start working on that research paper so you don't have to scramble uh, the last week to get it done. Hope you have a good week.